So much to do, but commuting can suck so much that you just don't do those things. But the Vespa has totally, totally changed that. Ducharme. And I'm Pooja Patel. My wife. And this is Bosley, our poodle. Uh, I'm the proud owner of a 2018 Vespa Sprint. And I'm the proud writer of a 2018 <laughs> Vespa Sprint. Backseat only. <laughs> uh, so and we live in the Upper West Side, Manhattan, right by the American History Museum. So how did I choose my bike? I'd say the bike kind of chose me. I, I decided to purchase it like a year ago and she was pretty resistant to the idea but one day I just decided I'm gonna do it and I don't need your permission that caused a lot of drama in the household I'd say that's about right uh, but when I went to the store and I saw this bright orange Vespa in the window I knew immediately I was taking that thing home best thing we ever did really love it um, I just finished my, I guess, first season, you could call it, riding the Vespa, uh, my first summer. Uh, it was fantastic. I only thought that I was gonna be riding it during like the warm months, but I love it so much that I'm pretty certain I will be in the frigid cold in the middle of winter riding my Vespa. It's awesome. So, Pooja and I have been married for Four, four long years. years. Very long. Four years. I knew. I knew that. Um, this is our our poodle Bosley, a furry hey, Bosley, dog, who actually was born on our first wedding anniversary. It was August twenty third. It was meant to be. So Pooj does not ride the Vespa. Or drive it. Drive it. I don't know how to drive. That's true. She doesn't ride. But she does ride the back seat. And Bosley also gets to ride on the Vespa. We have a little kangaroo pouch for him. These are his little goggles. Yes, yeah, safety Bosley. is very important. You should wear your goggles and your helmet at all times, even if you're a canine. He's so cute. He's like, I'm ready to ride, everybody. <laughs> he also has a little kangaroo pouch. Yeah. We're very safe with him. Very safe with boys. It sort of becomes a bit of a circus on the road. Everyone's always pointing and laughing. Uh, yeah. But they're laughing with, with not at, right, Bosley? At least that's what we tell ourselves. So, I guess what pushed me to first start riding the Vespa is that I feel kind of trapped sometimes living in New York City where you're always relying on the MTA to get everywhere and there's just so many, so much to do, but commuting can suck so much that you just don't do those things. But the Vespa has totally, totally changed that. I feel like, you know those like commercials that see in Prices Right? With like, you know, the, the old lady can't get up the stairs. Oh yeah. And she's getting one of those like elevator lifts. If you lifts. are limited by your mobility. <laughs> yes, I was limited by my <laughs> mobility. And not anymore because of the Vespa. <laughs> but it really is true. It's like, I'm the old lady now that can get up the stairs. <laughs> because it's like the whole city, I can just get there. And it's not like, not only is it not a hassle, but it's fun. I like commuting now. It's like totally changed the game. Uh, so I highly recommend that everyone <laughs> should get a Vespa. Unless you like are drunk or like dangerous on the road, then you probably shouldn't get one. But otherwise, like, it's crazy to me. Like, I don't yeah. get, like in Europe, it's they're the so popular. Secret. It really is. And it's like, what? It's why? It's like parking <laughs> is not a problem. Traffic? Just what traffic? Through. It's great. Like okay, so like last week the you know the UN was in town. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So so I use the bike every day to commute to and from work. And last week the traffic, especially on I my firm is on the east side, was terrible. It was like pretty much a parking lot going all the way there, except for me. It was. Meow, 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 meow. It, it took me no... So, Google Maps told me it would take me an hour. Holy shit, because really? Because of traffic. It took me 32 minutes. In no traffic, it takes me 30 minutes. That's awesome. So everyone else added half hour to their commute. Vespa only added two minutes. Wow. 
I, uh, we had a friend last week who wrote it, and I think he gave the best description that I've heard so far. Oh, it is really good. It is really good. It's, it's like riding a jet ski on the street. <laughs> yeah. And it's so it really fucking is. true. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's so, it's really great. A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and riding is really, really easy. Like, I had to take, like, a motorcycle class just to get my license, because it's 150cc engine. You don't need that for, I think, the 50cc. But it's like, it doesn't, take, it doesn't take much. Oh, and to all the spouses out there, like me, who had a lot of concerns, I still have a lot of concerns, um, but I do, I was actually pleasantly surprised at how much safer it felt in the city. I don't, I can't speak for big highways, I, that still scares me a lot. But riding in the city, it feels no more dangerous than riding a bike. And actually, it actually feels a little bit safer than riding a bike because with the scooter, you have a little bit more power to sort of get around, you know, sort of obstacles. And if, if there is, if there does happen to be something that goes awry, I think you have more power to sort of right. weave your way around it. Right. Um, yeah. Equally as agile, just with more power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What have we encountered in New York? Oh, one time when we first got it, we, um, it was the weekend of Pride. Remember when we were driving oh, through the that's right. on Ninth Ave? And that's right. That was, that like, was fun. Yeah, that was cool. There was like a LGBT parade and there was like drag queens and like, it was awesome. It was like one of those things we just never would have seen if we yeah. had the scooter. We probably just would have like stayed within our three block radius that we did before we bought the scooter. So. Somewhere where we go now all the time because of the scooter that we would never go to without is the South Street Seaport, which yeah. um, has a really great movie theater on the opposite corner of us. Well.